When a car struggles to start but runs perfectly afterward, it usually means there's a problem with one of the systems responsible only for starting the engine, not for keeping it running. This could be a slow crank, intermittent ignition, or the engine needing several attempts before it catches. Once it does start, it runs smoothly with no sputtering, stalling, or warning lights. That distinction is important because different components handle starting versus running. When everything works fine after the engine is on, you're likely dealing with something that affects cold starts, initial fuel delivery, or electrical performance during cranking. One of the most common reasons for hard starting is a weak or aging battery. As batteries age, their ability to hold a charge drops, making it harder to deliver the power needed for starting. Symptoms can include slow cranking, especially first thing in the morning, and dimming interior or dashboard lights when trying to start. A simple way to check is using a multimeter to measure voltage. Anything under 12.2 volts suggests a weak battery. Even a battery that seems fine during short trips may not have enough reserve capacity to handle cold starts. Another frequent electrical issue is corroded or loose battery terminals or ground cables. Corrosion appears as a white or bluish residue on terminals and loose connections can cause intermittent starting problems. Cleaning the terminals and tightening connections can often solve the issue. A worn or failing starter motor is another possibility. Starters can deteriorate over time and may turn the engine more slowly or not at all. In some cases, especially after the engine has warmed up, a faulty starter may stop working entirely due to heat soak, where electrical resistance increases when hot. A telltale sign of starter issues is a clicking sound with no engine turnover. Sometimes tapping the starter gently while someone turns the key can get it to engage temporarily. If this works, it's a strong indicator that the starter is the culprit and needs replacement. Fuel delivery problems also commonly cause hard starting. A weak fuel pump or leaky fuel pressure regulator can cause low pressure at startup. After the car sits, fuel pressure may bleed off leading to a long crank as the system repressurizes. You can often hear the fuel pump prime when turning the key to the on position without starting. It should hum for two or three seconds. If you don't hear that, or if the engine starts better after cycling the key a few times, there may be a pressure issue. Similarly, leaky fuel injectors can flood the engine during rest, especially overnight, causing hard starting and fuel smells from the exhaust. Another sensor that plays a key role in starting is the Coolant Temperature Sensor, or ECT. This sensor tells the computer how cold the engine is, so it can adjust the air-fuel ratio for cold starts. If the sensor reads incorrectly, like showing a warm temperature when the engine is actually cold, it can prevent the extra fuel needed for startup from being delivered. Checking the sensor with an OBD2 scanner can help confirm if it's reading close to ambient temperature when the engine is cold. Problems like this may not show a check engine light, making them easy to overlook. An issue with the idle air control valve or throttle body can also prevent a smooth start, especially when cold. If these parts are dirty or sticking, the engine may not get enough air during cranking, forcing you to use the gas pedal to start. Cleaning the throttle body and the IAC valve can often restore normal airflow. These components are more critical in cold starts because the engine needs slightly more airflow to idle when cold. Some starting problems are related to what happens while the car sits. A parasitic drain, where something in the vehicle is drawing power even when off, can drain the battery overnight. This often leads to hard starts in the morning, but not necessarily during the day. You can test this by disconnecting the battery overnight and reconnecting it in the morning. If it starts more easily, a drain is likely. Sensor issues can also play a role. The crankshaft position sensor, or CKP, helps the computer know when to send spark and fuel. If this sensor is failing, the engine might crank without firing at all. The tachometer may not move during cranking, which is one clue. This issue may be more pronounced when the engine is hot and sometimes won't trigger a fault code until total failure. Similarly, problems with the vehicle's security system or immobilizer can cause intermittent no-start conditions. If your car cranks but doesn't start and you see a flashing security light or a dashboard message like immobilizer active, it could be a key transponder issue. Trying a spare key may help in these cases. To diagnose the issue effectively, it's useful to observe whether the car cranks slowly or normally. If it cranks slowly, suspect the battery, terminals, or starter motor. 
If it cranks normally but takes a long time to fire up, listen for the fuel pump and consider fuel pressure or sensor-related issues. Cold start issues point toward fuel pressure bleed off, ECT sensor misreads, or air intake problems. Hot start issues often involve the starter or crankshaft sensor becoming heat soaked. If the vehicle starts better after being run recently but struggles after sitting for hours, you're likely dealing with a fuel system issue or parasitic battery drain. Preventing these issues comes down to maintenance. Replace your battery every four to five years, even if it still seems okay. Clean battery terminals and check cables regularly. Keep the fuel system clean by using quality gas and occasional fuel system cleaner. Make sure air filters are clean and throttle bodies are serviced periodically. Keeping an eye on early symptoms like slow cranking or occasional hesitation can prevent a complete failure later. There are several myths around starting issues. One common belief is that if the alternator were bad, the car wouldn't run at all. In reality, alternators are responsible for charging the battery while driving. They don't affect starting unless the battery is already discharged. Another myth is that the starter can't be the issue if the engine eventually starts. However, starter motors can fail intermittently or only when hot. Also, just because there's no check engine light doesn't mean nothing is wrong. Many of these startup-related problems don't trigger codes until total failure, so the absence of a light isn't proof of health. 